Oh, I didn't know you guys were here. Come over here. I got something to show you. What is up guys, it's your host with the most, Lord Trunks, back at it again with these fitness daily videos. Today we're going to be talking about band uses and three major workouts we can actually do right at home. So number one exercise we're going to do today with the bands is hip hinge. You're actually going to be able to learn how to hip hinge properly if you do these right. Because in squats, you're going to have to first drop your hips, so you're going to have to lock out like that, drop your hips, and then your knees. A lot of people have you know, tendonitis in the knees, having a lot of knee problems because they don't know how to properly hip hinge. If you don't know how to do it properly, you're gonna, your knees are gonna suffer a lot and therefore, you're not gonna be able to lift heavy in the long run. So doing this hip hinge exercise, you wanna find yourself a sturdy, heavy object to wrap around the band with because hip hinges are gonna involve your whole body. So basically, you wrap yourself around this band Make sure it's anchored right on top of your, around the groin area basically, wherever it won't bother you. Doing this exercise is going to help you tremendously learn how to hip inch properly. As you can see, look I'm just moving my hips, my hips are moving, my hips are moving, and then boom. Also this is going to strengthen the glutes. You can actually get a pump off of these. But I recommend buying thicker bands because with these thinner bands, you're not really going to get as much tension. So if you really want to have like a good workout with these, with these bands, I recommend getting thicker bands. So the second exercise we're going to be performing today and I'm going to be showing you guys is the corkscrew. This is going to involve the obliques to be activated. The way to do this is I recommend finding a, an area where you can wrap the bands with that is elevated. So the way to do it is wrap around this band around the object that is elevated, put the other side of the loop through here, on the other side, tighten it up, and basically you want it to be, you want just one single string to go down and the other side is tied. So grab it, and the way we're gonna perform this is we're gonna try to touch our elbow like it's gonna be trapping across our body. And you can see my my abs are already, you know, activating. Let's do that again. So this exercise is gonna help you stabilize the core better and better activate those obliques if you're not accustomed to activating those obliques. Because in the long run, if you know how to flex the obliques, it's gonna increase your squat, it's gonna increase your deadlift, it's gonna increase your bench press. Because having a strong core leads to big lifts. For the third and last exercise, we're gonna take it outside because we have nowhere else to put it right here. Let's go. So the third exercise we're gonna be performing is band pulls. We basically went outside and used the car for example, who cares? So what you want to do is basically you want the band to be head level and you want your thumbs go right behind your head. This is going to be for example. This is going to really reinforce those rotated cuffs to be strengthened and overall it's going to help you develop more of that back muscles because a lot of people lack that area and if you don't have those areas strengthened that can eventually lead to shoulder problems i hope you guys like this video make sure you comment down below give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next fitness video lord trunks out hey hey get in my way and try to block me i'ma show aggression Slide on your block like danny glover with a lethal weapon i fucked your thought she gave me top i guess that's my confession Got